Hello, and welcome to the Folklore and Fiction Podcast. My name is Kelly McCath Morin. I'm a PhD candidate in the Folklore Department at Memorial University of Newfoundland, and I'm also a speculative fiction writer under the pseudonym C.S. McCath. The Folklore and Fiction Podcast and Dispatch synthesize these passions with a focus on folklore scholarship aimed at storytellers. You'll find the Folklore and Fiction archive, along with the rest of my work, online at folkloreandfiction.com. Interested listeners will find a link to the current dispatch in the show notes, where a more comprehensive record of this episode can be found, including a bibliography and other references. In this episode, I'll be exploring ATU 2014, Chains Involving Contradictions or Extremes. Let's begin with a Palestinian story that tells us right in the title where it fits among folklore genres and contains a treasure chest of narrative jewels to admire. A Tall Tale There was and there wasn't, O ancient of days, a king who had one daughter. She was of such astonishing beauty that when she reached the age to be married, suitors thronged her father's court. Yet whenever the king mentioned marriage to her, she would say, I shall be wed only to the man who can tell me a story whose beginning is impossible and whose end is untrue. News of the challenge spread, and many were the princes who took it up. Time and again, A suitor would begin in the traditional manner of storytellers with the words, Let us profess that Allah is one and has no equal. And there and then, the princess would send him on his way, saying, A story that lies from the beginning to end is no place for the profession of the unity of Allah. So it went on, until one day a handsome and quick-witted youth came before her and said, I shall tell you a tale to fulfill your heart's desire. And when she had invited him to sit before her, he began, Before uttering an untruth, I crave forgiveness from Allah, who alone is all-knowing. When my grandmother gave birth to my grandfather, I was a child old enough to walk and run. So she called to me and said, Take these two pennies, my child, and fetch me eggs and cumin, so that we can celebrate the cutting of your grandfather's navel cord. I ran to do her bidding, and bought the eggs and the spice, and put them in my pocket and hurried home. But on the way I stumbled, and one of the eggs dropped to the ground and broke, and out hopped a chick carrying a load of firewood on his back. I unloaded the wood off him so that I could ride him home, but found the skin of his back had been rubbed raw. Filled with pity, I sat by the side of the road and wept. Then a man passing by comforted me and gave me a date stone, saying, Roast this stone and crush it, and rub it into the wound on your chicken's back. I did as he advised me, and all at once a date palm laden with red and yellow dates began to grow from the chicken's back. It would be wrong to pass by such sweet fruit without tasting it, I said to myself, and shinnied up the palm. At the top I found a date grove so vast that a harvester beating the fruit down from one tree could not hear his fellow's blows at the next. Between the trees, the earth was so rich and black that I plowed it and sowed sesame seeds. After the seeds were ripe, I gathered them into sacks, but found an ant stealing one sesame seed. When I seized the end of the seed and tried to pull it away, the ant held on tight. As I tugged on my side and he on his, the seed broke, and out of it spilled a stream of sesame oil. I jumped into it and swam until I reached your presence. The princess laughed and was married to the handsome storyteller, according to the laws handed down by the prophet. This episode of the Folklore and Fiction podcast is a preview. And you can listen to the full episode on the Folklore and Fiction website. 
Just click on the dispatch link in the show notes or go to folkloreandfiction.com and sign up for a free account. Thanks very much for your interest. Copyright 2019 to 2023. Kelly S. McCath Morin. All rights reserved unless Creative Commons licensing is specifically applied.